Carter with 10 on the shot clock. Carter gets around for two. Dion, she drives, splits the defense, had it stripped and stolen. Here's Farquhar, long pass to Harden. Harden with the catch, Harden with the layup, good. Todd Stark is still talking to the official. Here's McLaughlin, left side. Harden for three, and that's good. Cassidy Harden for the first time in the last four games, it's a triple. Here's Cassidy Harden back off to Janelle Grant. Harden's open from the right side, fires a three, and hits. Cassidy Harden wide open on the right wing as her first triple. Trailer with seven to shoot. Trailer puts it on the deck with the left hand, throws in the corner to a wide open Harden. Three in the air, got it. Cassidy Harden with one left on the shot clock, hits another triple. Harden looking for the lob, can't find it. Now Fatou Dion has it. Back to Harden. She fires a three left side. It is good. Off the iron, off the glass, and in. Roxanne Mikolo. Harden open for three. That's what she shoots. Good seal underneath from Harris, but right now a little perimeter action. There's your three-point specialist. There's your tight game. It's a beautiful move to the basket with confidence. And then this is a big bucket for the soft. Indiana back up by 17. This is a Purdue team that hasn't won inside Assembly Hall since 2012. Cassidy Harden trying to keep her team in it. Harden triggers a three, and she's good from distance. Cassidy Harden making the most of her time off the bench. Great defense again. Harden good feeds goal. Harris. Picking up the ball carrier right at midcourt. Cassidy Harden takes a three from the wing. Cuts the lead for Minnesota to three. Back, right back out for Purdue. It's two offensive rebounds led up by Nebraska back to back. It's Harden in that corner. She drills it. Diani off the right side. Harden with five seconds to shoot. Watch the patience, though, here for Purdue. One to shoot. That's a heave. And okay. Count that two for McKenna Marisa. Running the floor again. Harden up and under. She has made maybe the two most difficult shots today for Purdue. The call, but she's not going to like this. Well, once again, McLaughlin with her head up and Harden sprinting down the court. You got to love the way Purdue is playing together and keeping the foot. Odin's also adding a couple boards for tonight, an assist and a steal. It's a three for McLaughlin that drops. Excuse me, that was Cassidy Harden in the corner. Found a way to go up. Ball cycles around. There's a three try. Good from Cassidy Harden. <laughs> Deanna. Inside to Harris, and they double down, and then great ball movement from Odin to find the open three point shooter. For Purdue, trying to come off and, and create space. And Harden lays it in. Tough finish. Oilers coming off a close loss at Michigan. Harden, three for three to start the game. Rebound controlled by Harris. Purdue looking to run. They've looked to run most of the night with Trailer up to Harden. Purdue looking for the lead. Oh, a streaky Harris, and Harden made no mistake. Trailer once again being hounded by the Minnesota native, Suzanne Gilreath. Oh, Harden was just left wide open. Nobody in the vicinity. Coach Shippas calls a quick timeout, not happy with that breakdown. Here's Holoshinska working left. Can't get that to go, can't get the rebound either. And it's down for Harris, off the glass and in. Too easy for the Purdue big. Taryn McCutcheon doing a really good job of, of following and not losing sight of where McLaughlin is. On the drive and kick, into the shot clock, Harden drills it through. Get those easy points in the paint. Ben Smith's consistency really through her four years here in College Park, much like her older sister. That was a much needed bucket. Already 11 points for McLaughlin, who had a bounce back game in the regular season finale against Ohio State, she poured in 18. And there's her, her I don't know, Batman to her Robin, kind of her wingmate. 
Here's a look at Harden. Again, that skip pass, drive to the base time, baseline and kick out. Almost always is excellent shooters and scorers, although that helps if you ask me. <laughs> All part of the pie. Scorers, <laughs> but they're character kids, and so it's easier to get out to buy into the program. How about that? That shot had character. It was awfully close. Cassidy Harden off the window. Makes it a one-point game. Maryland on top, end of one. Yeah, she led the Big Ten in steals last season. Or just about three steals a game, just all over the place. Great anticipation skills. Has had to put a pause on some of the athletic activities in their program as well. Three seconds on the shot clock, a nice feed there, turnaround catch and finish by Goni. And credit Penn State, just coming out playing this tough defense, trapping in the corners, and good job there by Purdue, finally able to break it. Cassidy Harden on the wing with Three a points. huge Cassidy shot Harden. for Purdue. Proof is in the pudding, in transition, trailer draws defenders, wide open Harden. Shooters love transition threes, Purdue by three. Be a little more consistent from three when they can get that three-point flow in. Like Cassidy Harden here, who is a three-point specialist. Good things happen for the Boiler. Pass, if you're going to get it to your post player, you got to make sure you see numbers on the jersey before you pass it in. But just a... She always says, be ready when your number is called, because you never know when you'll get that opportunity. Jumbia kicks it out to the far side. A three is good. Cassidy Harden, the junior, knocks it down. Those two stats really work hand in hand, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. And they've got great perimeter defenders, and they're even missing one of their top ones today. Jalen Penna went out with the ankle injury. Purdue is maybe looking to be a bit, little bit more concise in how they push that ball around the court because they cannot afford another turnover. Well, that's going to be exactly the kind of looks they're going to look, do to shrink that lead. It's an 18 nothing run as the Buckeyes peel back in half court. 41-27, the Ohio State lead. A right point three put up by Harden, and she swishes to end the 18 nothing run. Second one for Sheldon in this game for the Buckeyes in and out. Rebound outlet up the left wing for Harden. She'll swish a three, so a layup doesn't go. The three does for Harden, a five-point swing. Alicia Smith averaging 11.5 points per game over the last seven since Croons got into the starting lineup. Harden a three. From the corner, why not? All right, the Boilermakers down 22 with 5.18 to play, and it's more in the front court to Layden. Layden in the corner. Here's Harden for three. Got it. Cassidy Harden with the triple. Here's Moore now with five seconds. Moore back off to Harden. Harden with two seconds back to Moore. Deep three up. Bullseye for Brooke Moore at the quarter break. In the first half, Purdue had trouble solving this Illinois zone in yeah. Champaign, and it looks like the troubles are continuing here in West Lafayette. Now Grant back in the lineup, Ricky Waltman on the floor as well. It's Madison Layden with it. On the left side, here's Harden for three. Bullseye for Cassidy Harden, her first triple of the game. Megan Gustafson got to show that a little bit more, kind of her face-up game a little bit. They would like to show that off for Monica Sinano if they can. Oh, a contested. I really like what she has brought to this program, Megan, although early in the season has really made an impact. I'm just so impressed with the fact that she's transferred as Harden lets it fly from three and knocks it down. Cassidy Harden, this whole entire team catching fire from beyond the arc. Ellis on the kick out, wide open for Harden, and she buries it. They say the deep two-point shot is one of the worst ones that you can <laughs> take, but that's only when you don't make it. And from way downtown. Rebound by Layden after a no good shot from Brianna Furby. Cast Harden from the corner. Sinks it! And on that last drive, Cole Claw had a really nice take. Harden, spotter three! 
She throws it away. Cassidy Harden takes the ball for Purdue. Long pass up to Kyle. Look at Kyle run the floor. And she finishes the layup. That is a great rim run by Kyle. And the ball is taken away by Terry. There we go. Harden for three. Got it. That's what Purdue was missing in the first half. Tie game. Great awareness by Braxton Miller. She was kind of stuffed with the double team down in the paint. And, Bra and, and J.C. Selden just hit the three. Cassidy Harden says, I'll take one, too. She responds. As Brenda Fries said, all of last season and the start of this season, all gas, no breaks from the Terps tonight. Harden, long ball, too strong, and then it falls down. What a roll for Cassidy Harden here in the Xfinity Center. Looks for Waltman, three on the shot clock, kicking it out to Harden. She's driving, one on the shot clock. Got it off and finished. Off the window, what a shot from Cassidy Harden. And switching the court up. Here's Cass Harden. And you can put it on the board, yes, Cass Harden. And India Sanders has three. Swim to the outside, shot up, and in. They throw in the corner to Geralt for a three, that one's no good. And the rebound pinballed around, and this time Purdue's got it. Terry up to Harden. Harden working against Gerald. Harden's going to go through with the Euro Whoa. step. Yes, and one. What a play by Cassidy Harden. A touch pass to court in the corner to Layden for three, but it's short. And the rebound pulled down again by Purdue. Here's Terry with the rebound back to Harden. Three in the air. Yes. Cassidy Harden finally hits the triple. Yeah, this makes one of two free throws. The three points in the game for Jaworska. Three point game. Purdue speaking of threes. There's a three for the right one. Cassidy Harden. It's her third three of the ball game. Ellis comes off a screen by Waltman, still with the dribble alive. Back off to Harden. Shot clock is inside 10. They lob it into nice. Waltman, who catches and lays it in. On point. That was a terrific pass and a great seal by Ricky Waltman. Ellis back off to Layden. Breaks the three-minute scoring drop. There's Harden with another three. She's got it. There's Cassidy it. Harden hits the triple. They have five. Three of those were team rebounds. Right. And to me, that means it squirts out of bounds. That's not one they score on. And, you know, I hate to say it this way, but... Dumps it back out to Cloud. And Lilith, she got hit in the face right there by Layden, but no fouls called. Here comes Abby Ellis. She will work the baseline. Dumps it out top of the key. Harden for three, and it goes in. Inside pass to Parks, double teamed inside. No foul call, she can't get that bucket to go in. Once again in the hands of Terry, now off to Harden. Her three-pointer is gone! Big shot from Cassidy Harden. And with that whistle, we'll have a timeout on the floor here. But look at that three from... Ava Learn only the, was ranked the 153rd player in the nation and the number 41th guard in high school, so... Cassidy Harden bombs away from three, her first triple of the night. On screen, gets the screen, drives, kisses. Indiana keeping it within an arm's length, and then look at that feed, Harden to Layden. Shot fake, got Demila Brown to go on it, and another miss, and another offensive rebound for Purdue, this time Ellis. Outside to Harding for three, it goes, and Eric. Purdue leads 3-0. Tries to drive on the guard, and Harden again walls up, and here's Abby Ellis. Harden for three. Her first of the game, how about that defense to offense, Steph? Well, it's out of necessity that Cass Harden has to guard a post player. She does a really good job of using her strength, of, of staying disciplined and not COVID and, and everything else. It's the timing of when are you playing these teams? Yeah. Are they at full strength? Are they not at full strength? Are you, are you at home on the road? Uh, timing is more important than ever as Cass Harden nails another three. Cass Harden from three. She sinks it. Just a few moments ago, got her second triple-double of the year. Had a block on that stat sheet. Dump into Ava Learn. She puts that up for two and draws the foul. Get back into this short-handed as Janae Terry with it up top. Three on the way and finally knocked down the three-pointer. 
There's Widener on Terry. Open look here for Harden, and Harden has back-to-back -back three pointers. And Cassidy Harden is a great shooter, and as everybody knows, in order to be a great shooter. Terry back the other way. JT stops. Throws back off to Harden. Open three in rhythm. Yes. Cassidy Harden with the triple. That's 23 straight games with a three-pointer. Northwestern got the rebound, almost got a steal. And now here's a long pass down, and Cassidy Harden does intercept the pass. Harden back the other way. Long pass off to Madison Layden. Layden with a minute 38 to play out top to Harden for a deep three. That's good. Interesting defensive strategy by the Boilermakers. Cassidy Harden doing what she does best. Sinks the three for the Boilermaker. Picked up by Shramick in the left block. Got it poked free. Picked up by Harden. Pass up ahead. Here is Ellis on Douglas. And Douglas does a good job of stopping her defensively. But she'll throw it out to the top of the three. Is hit by Harden. Tight window pass to Ellis. Dribbling around. Harden for three. Down it goes. <laughs> Board taken by Layden. Harden with a fake pass. She knocks it down. Very well done by the Purdue guard. There it is. From Melbourne. Into the corner, it's Terry. Cross, open three for Harden, and she hits Purdue on the board for the first time. It's 5-3 with 7.20 to go. As Northwestern leads by nine, their largest lead of the night on a 13-2 run over the last four and a half minutes. And it's Harden looking to end that. Gets the foul and the bucket. You know, we talk about Satterway and how she's been doing really well this. Rebound and Purdue looks to push again. Cass Harden. And it's pure from three-point land. Falls to Cassidy Harden. Harden loves that three-point shot. That's why. Also said that Layden's the best player on their team. And right now she has a team high seven points for the Boilermakers. Abby Ellis from deep. Beautiful. Well, you see right there, James just get on that possession. I was looking at Janae Terry. She is having a fantastic game, getting herself in great positions defensively. As Terry dumps it off to Harden and Harden. Over to Harden once again. Harden's three off the mark. Terry. Another rebound. Janae Terry all over the glass. Back to Harden. Her three hits the bottom of the net. In the shot clock as Horvath's shot. Can't find the bottom of the net. A quick pass into Layden. Back out. Harden, her three-pointer. Nothing but net. And this Cougars team plays aggressive defense. 26th in the nation in steals last year. Pass Harden flips it outside to the key. Madison Layden from deep. We're tied. Three all. Cass Harden flips it up to Harper, and she puts it up for two. As Janae Terry runs the fast break. Finds Harden, lets it fly, and sinks it for the first three of the game for the Boilermaker. And unable to get it to go, here's Terry. Abby Ellis hits the deck. Out to Harden, feet set, lets it go, and took a few bounces, but the banks are open on Sunday. And exclusive content only on the Big Ten Plus app. Download and subscribe now. What a nice cut. And just watch her. She recognizes there's a double team. I can flash into this open spot and comes and gets the basketball. That is what you're supposed to do. The fair continues to be relatively quiet in this game. She's got just three points in 16 minutes. At 18 points in the opening half for Syracuse in their last game against Bucknell. Ellis just ripped it away. Look at that pass. Nice little alley -oop to set up Smith. What a nice pass. First lead in quite some time for Purdue, also slow, and it's been a while since that first quarter and early in the first quarter. A look for Cassidy Harden. That's what she does at a 40% clip this season. This Purdue offense. More patient, working the ball around. You kick it out you hit the shot, and when those shots start to fall, you build confidence, but they're doing it inside and out on great recognition. The defense not allowing anything inside. and Both teams need to look to get to the paint to try to get a high percentage look at the basket. There you go. And finally, Purdue is on the board. Caitlin Harper. Pass 
Anthony Harden, what a shot. Needed that steal to get the three. And on the other side, Harden. Feeds it over to Ellis. Skip pass. Harden, feet set. And gets it to go after a quick bounce off the rim. Outside, there's Bullman. Ball taken away. Cass Harden, running transition. Feeds Ellis, shot fake. Outside, Smith, feet set. And she sinks another. That led Iowa to a tremendous end to that first quarter after they trailed 7-3. to three. But Cassidy Harden steps in to pick that off. The sixth turnover so far. And the reversal. Purdue being more patient in its half-court offense. Harden is trying to make things happen herself in this second half. Harden is able to get her first three-pointer of the night, creating some space, a little ball. Lost on a buzzer beater at home against Maryland. And to your point, tightly playing a top-15 team in Iowa as Cassidy Harden knocks down a triple. Leilani Kapanis is known much more for her attacks, her straight-line drives, than her threes. But after you've seen Anna Kanman hit a couple, and Cassidy Harden finishes for, Penn, uh, for Purdue on the other end. Extra pass to Harden. Cutter three. Unselfish play. How about sharing the love a little bit? Another little action in the paint. Unselfish play. Bada bing, bada boom. We got a one point game. Terry. Trying to find some space against Sydney Wood, but great defense. Finds Harden out wide. Abby Ellis recovers that near steal from Sam Hybe. Harden from deep. She sinks it. Braun finds Sinano for the mid range jumper. It won't go, and Ava Learn, who just subbed in, will get the rebound. Ellis pushing, finds Harden for history. Star player. The Illini got to start waking up, and it started on those two possessions. Wide open, laid in, and the delivery from Cassidy Harden in the third. Haven't had our media timeout. Hasn't been many whistles. Laid in on the cut and the lay in. Timeout now called by Shauna Green and Illinois. Mike Sell in the corner. Mike Sell trying to dribble it in. Taken away from Terry, and Purdue going quick the other way in the corner. Quick jumper, and that's good. Cassie Harden Cassie for Purdue's Harden. first bucket of the game. So far in the early minutes, the Purdue squad has done a great job finding some good looks, not forcing anything. As Harden takes one from beyond the arc, that one's up and good. Streeter, one of those players that she's pretty quiet. She comes off of the bench, but if she gets going from behind the arc, she can really put a lot of points up on the board. Terry, no look to the corner for Harden, and she bangs it. Janae Terry taking it in, feed across the paint to Harper, kicked out, Harden, three, up and good. And Cassidy Harden. Long skip pass to Harden, driving baseline, laid up, and good, and one opportunity as Harden goes through the contact for the finish. He's got 15 with a chance to tack on one more. Oh, my apologies, they're gonna call that one a, a travel. Averaging 18.2 points per game inside to Cash. An errant shot, and Woolman grabs the rebound. Really trying to establish the high and low post there. Good work so far from Penn State. Transition three from Cassidy Harden. Charlie, a pretty picture perfect first minute here for Purdue, 5-0. It's inside to Cash once again, swatted away by the Boilermaker defense. Back to Harden, left wing three, two in a row. Here's Sonano. A lot of space there, Harden gave her. With it off the front of the rim and out. Harden gonna pull from deep right away. Purdue offense just coming down the floor. No hesitation from Harden. They're trying to eliminate any chance of turning over the ball. So their main thing, we're gonna see it a lot tonight, is they're gonna run. Petrie skips into the lane, looks for Harden, yes. Look at Petrie drawing three defenders. And now Harden is wide open for a triple try. Purdue has been deliberate in its half court offense today. Much better in the second half. On the baseline, it is Harden, and she makes an incredible play. Oh man, look at the stat sheet all you want to. I'm a three point specialist, but I can smooch it off the window too. Look at her face. 
She's got a game face on, and that bucket goes down. But I'm telling you, we get to postseason. It's another level mentally. Like the X's and O's, the tactical side of it, it all counts on some level, but it's all mentality at this point. The ball, Purdue is trailed by as many as 11. Janae Terry doing a good job of committing the defense to the paint and opens up.